Let's go hunting graves. Back again to hunt for a grave. More than 100 years ago, probably 150 years ago, Lewis Strachan, a pioneer of Jimboomba. Now, if you haven't checked out my previous efforts of trying to find his grave, check out the video that's in the description area. I gave it a good shot in trying to locate where, what is this? Someone's clothesline, okay. It was a little bit too tricky to find. I just couldn't find it. I've since come across some information and I've actually seen it on Google Maps. How about that? So you could say this is unfinished business. I've come to be aware that the grave site is maintained by the Lewis Strachan family. I'd like to see what it actually looks like. If you remember what I said last time that the grave site was able to be seen from passengers traveling from, you know, Logan Village through to Bow Desert, when they crossed over Strachan Creek, it was said that they were able to see the grave site up on the bank of the creek that bears his name. So where is the grave? So here is the Strachan Bridge, the Strachan Creek, the Strachan Bank. So my error before was I was looking too close. He it said it's situated underneath a wild apple tree. Couldn't see any here. I needed to look a little bit further up this way. Where up. is this grave of this great man? Okay, hang on, here we go. I think this might be it. This is it. The grave site of Lewis Strachan, born 21 June 1811, died the 6th of February 1877. Lewis Strachan, Lewis, a surveyor, born in Aberdeen, Scotland, came to Queensland with son Thomas 13 years on the sailing ship Fiery Star in 1862. Sponsored by the Manchester Cotton Company, to grow cotton to overcome a shortage due to the American Civil War, the Strachans first settled at Quincy Flat. The venture failed and in 1865, the Strachans took up 400 acres at Jimboomba. Descendants occupied the block for over 100 years. Beside the creek that bears his name, they laid in coffin rough. He sought for neither wealth nor fame, a gentleman that was enough. Andrew, son of Thomas, 1993. Is this the wild apple tree under which this grave was uh, placed? Because the apple tree, if it is, it's deteriorated and fallen off just up there. So just checking this graveside out, I'm a little bit sad to be honest. You know, here we have a pioneer of Jim Boomba, and here we have a small grave dedicated to him in honor of him that is here in the middle of nowhere. And there's no provision for people that are into history, people that learn from it and enjoy it and love it, for them to come and see and remember what this man actually did for this very, very important community within Logan City. Yeah. So perhaps back in the early 1900s when they're talking about that the grave was visible and it's on the bank of the Strachan Creek, I really don't see it to be honest. Unless if all this bushland was not here, but there is no way in the world you would be able to see this grave over here. So traveling down this line, there is no way in the world that you would see the grave from here. <laughs> uh, someone got the trail biscuit here. 
enjoy just don't eat it anyways that was pretty cool hope you enjoyed my little romp this afternoon here we finally found and finished our unfinished business hope you got something out of that history is important for us to remember because if we don't we'll keep on making the same old mistakes again and again that goes the same with important people of history they are there to be remembered for the things that they did to grow communities to do good in these areas in which we live and we need to remember those people in Jimboomba Lewis Strachan was one such a man this uh, pioneer of Jimboomba thank you for watching I'll catch you on the next one